Hey everyone, I'm the Fake Psychic, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. When we last left off, we were entering a door. This time, we got some weird parrotfish thing looking things. Kind of peaceful, I guess. Oh, nice little pixel shipwreck. Looks very nice. Wonder how Mario Bree. Oh god. Those poor fish, they were scared faceless. Now, I always kind of picture this as like, you know, What's going on, guys? I want to help. Let, let me in, guys. I'm cool. Poor giant blooper. You know, that one fin looks a little suspicious, considering that they decided to pan to it. But anyway, we have got a boss fight against giant blooper holy crap that thing is giant and the music is entirely unfitting uh no and let's just fall right in the water that's that's brilliant anyway this is the boss fight against mega blooper i think is the official name here i don't really remember um, anyway, basically the idea is you gotta wait for him to shoot up a tentacle that is different than all the rest. Should become readily apparent in a second here when it shoots up a red tentacle. Next, you wanna ground pound it. And if you notice, it makes him a little, uh, hot under the collar, I guess. Obviously, he doesn't like, uh... I'm not going to finish that. Um, now, there's a really quick way to do this. If you switch to Bowser, which uh, I'll do here in a second, I guess. Anyway, you're doing 12 damage, and the boss only has like 25 hit points, I think. Other than that, it's a very lackluster boss. Yep, here we go. We're going to switch to Bowser. You can also... Well, I don't know. Yeah, you can try to flamethrower his other tentacles, but it just won't do much. Ow. Uh... Bowser just got tentacled. Ah, uh, There's nothing sacred. Is nothing sacred. Uh, probably not. Look at that! 12 damage! Which means that it had about 24 hit points, which means I could have killed this thing in two hits with Bowser. In two hits. Anyway, that's a uh, Mega Blooper, Giga Blooper, Pixel Blooper. I don't know. Anyway, if you just continue on this way, we'll find a pipe. And we're back above ground again, because apparently... I don't know. Don't, just don't question it. It seems oddly convenient that uh, there was first an old castle, and then there was an ocean, and now there appears to be a giant tree. But anyway. We're in the shadow of a giant tree! Yggdrasil! Oh my god! What was the tree from Dragon Quest? I don't know. Up, up, and a tree! Anyway, this entire level is all about the precision platformings. Now, I normally don't have an issue with precision platforming, but sometimes it does get a bit annoying. Also, there's like a random red dot there, and I genuinely do not know what the random red dot there is for. Oh, wait, yes I do. Never mind. I'm stupid. Um... Anyway, Peach is a very good bet for this, considering that she can float. Like that. And let's just work her way up and wait for this entirely too slow platform to make it over to the other side. Oh, that green thing looks unfriendly. I don't remember what status it inflicts on you. I'm just going to wait for it to pass. It can stay away. Oh god, Fast Flower. This is not a good idea in Precision Platforming Land. 
What the heck am I supposed to do? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. What? And the slow flower just makes it all normal speed. That's lovely. Kill some enemies, get some points. Not picking that up, because that's completely worthless. Uh, I genuinely forget what to do here. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, one moment. There we go. Anyway, you gotta find these two uh, plane switching blocks. Flip them to the correct dimension. And then switch back to Peach and get ready for some more Peach platforming. Kind of funny, because the first chapter was pretty much the Mario... Or the first section of the chapter was pretty much the Mario cha uh, section. And then you had the Bowser section, and then here's the Peach section. Oh gee, that post looks suspiciously familiar. Shocking. Electrifying, even. Stupid green thing. But at least I got a mushroom. Mushrooms are always nice. Those things will flip direction when you hit them, so it's kind of a bit of a annoying to try and do combos off them. But, you know what, whatever. Hey, we finally reached the top of the tree! Hmm, dried bark. I wonder what dried bark does really well. I'd say shocking, but that just seems very inappropriate with the fact that there's fire. Burning? I don't know. Anyway, inside the door, and we realize that we're nowhere near the top yet. That's just lovely. But that blue thing died, so it's all okay. And now we have more precision-y platforming. Isn't that fun? But now we have a puzzle. I just love puzzle platforming. Puzzle precision platforming, even. Anyway, basically, it's flip switching puzzle. Basically, you've got two sections or two selections: a blue side and a red side. Well, more pink, but who's counting? Oh, stupid things put me to sleep. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? You're, you're serious? Why aren't you dead? Thank you. Daisy tear. Sweet. Alright. Oh, and up some more. Oh, butts. And if you do something stupid like that, you've got to go back in the pipe, back up the tree. See, if you flip here, then you see that it's actually, like, full across the ground, so there's really no helping it. You've got to do this. There's just no around it, and it sucks. But let's try this again with less failing, maybe. And see, the great part is most of the time, the platforms that go up and down aren't in any kind of timing with the platforms that go around. Which means that you'll be waiting, and you'll be ducking to pass the time, and you'll just... arg. Stupid Daisy, go away! Ow. Thank you. I can't make that jump. What to do? What to do? Uh, can't you? Can I? No, can no, I can't. Stupid Daisy, go away! Oh, here we go. Ah, stupid thing. All right. Oh, here we go. There's a the switch. Princess climbs freaking ladders slowly. Uh, but we got our... S oh, stupid. Okay, thank god. If I had fallen all the way down, then I would have just cut it out, and... I don't know. 
It would have been a very Take Two worthy moment. And by Take Two, I mean. Try it again, not Take Two Interactive, the people behind stuff. What have they done? They've done stuff. I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, there appears to be a pipe here. Or, well, there appears to be a pipe here, I guess. Anyway, let's go in the pipe. Let's, well, let's try anyway. Oh god, spikes. Now, spikes are all the way around. That's just dandy. What we can do, or what we can do even, is we can use Slim and go solid Mario. And not die. Press 1 to not die. Ah, ah, ah. Hit the switch. And on the return trip. Go, go, go. Stop. Green light. Red light. Yay, made it. Um... Daisy, you will... Oh my god. <laughs> Arg. That's just dandy. Let's hit the switch. Actually, you know... Well, I'm so close to the... It's close to my time that I guess it doesn't really matter. But... Anyway, this tree is annoying. It's... I, I swear if that had knocked me down further, I would have killed something. Preferably that thing's mother and all its family. I really wish this platform would go faster. At least that platform is relatively easy to jump to, but that will wrap it up for this part. Next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, we finish this godforsaken tree. See you guys next time.